Hey everyone, welcome back to game two. Of course, uh, this is from the MSI uh, World Cup France. Uh, we do have uh, the famous Stefano as uh, the White Zerg player and Tall Dream Alter on the top right and on the bottom left. We do have Lutzfron as uh, the Terran player, the Green Terran player on the bottom left side of the game. This game is a very, very long game, so I'm going to speed it up quite a bit to cut down your actual visual pleasure of staring at boring initial stuff and uh, four plays between both players. And uh, let's get right down to it, of course. Stefano, as you do know, is uh, one of the best Zerg players out there. So we are going to have very aggressive game in the previous game. If you did watch game one between Lutzfron and Stefano, we did have uh, Stefano obviously go up early on with the three hatchery, you can say expand base, and uh, Lutzfron did go with the two base and directly switched into a heli and a banshee harass, which proved very, very effective for uh, Lutzfron and did manage to get upper hand. And it did take out Stefano as he did obviously dwindle down Stefano's economy and drone count, so he, didn't, he wasn't able to actually produce the amount of units to counteract. Uh, Loot front's push so currently so far both players of course did go for the second base so we are gonna have the second base for both players both pa both players of course are drawing up uh, that wall off coming up for loots front again to push to hopefully prevent any pushes coming early on pushes from Stefano in case Stefano does decide to be angry we do of course have those overlords going across the map to scout out and to see what is happening gas is finally coming online for Stefano two hatchery so he's not really going for the three hatchery early on as he did before so he's probably playing a little bit conservatively here so he is just trying to be a little bit more careful but he is going to be going as you know he's not he is playing just a little bit conservatively here especially since the last game he did lose so he did manage to take out of course uh, that scout out by Lutzfron and he, of course he does did finally spot where he is so he does know finally where uh, Lutzfron is Stefano has a good good very good idea in terms of where that is we do of course have those double evolution chambers online again Lutzfron is going for that cloak and again that bench early on so we're going to have a little bit of match early on her ass with those Hellions that proved very effective in the previous game. So we do finally have that first Hellion, a couple of first Hellions moving forward into the Zolnaga Tower. And they're going to be moving, of course, around. They're going to try to flank Stefano and try to get him or try to make as much damage as possible. But once, but once they do see the Crete, they are going to move back as uh, Surprise is the key. And Lutzfron uh, does want to make a point of that. So finally he's moved forward. He's trying to get into the base as much as possible. But of course, uh, Stefano did wall it off. So it's going to be very very difficult for uh, that to be very effective and he did have of course that overseer so that pretty much cancels out to the surprise of that banshee so so far uh, nothing nothing much uh, Lutzfron can do finally Stefan of course did did take a little bit of more care as he did I know uh, that the same same tactic was uh, there in the previous game and Lucifer of course didn't switch his tactic he did go with the same thing so finally he's going to be switching into a couple of bio, a little bit of bio we do have of course the stim research coming online and weapons level one as well and uh, three more barracks so we're going to have a little bit of bio while Stefano is finally going in for a couple of air units we're going to have six mutalisks into play one one upgrades as well for uh, the ground units for Stefano so really Stefano did counteract and learn from his previous lessons as he did lose up for that early in Hellion push and uh, Banshee push by Lutz front so Stefano already did counteract that very nicely and of course did make a very nice wall here as well so really a touche for Stefano very nice play for him and uh, finally he's going to be hopefully putting down a little bit of pressure as well for Lutz front and counteract that little bit of a loss by Lutz front so so far Stefano did really not lose anything if we do look at the end lost he did Lutz front is on the losing end very nice placement if he can move in with those uh, Mutalisks, he could do just a little bit of damage and he's pretty much going to drop everything and do quite a lot of harassments here and uh, let's see exactly how well this is going to be playing out of course I don't know why Lutzfront didn't pull these units off the line so so far he's just being a little bit of an annoyance here and there but a very very nice you can say harass by Stefano who really needs to get more of those uh, drones probes dropped of course we do have those towers coming online he is going for that tech lab to prevent that research from coming online as well he does see that that research is happening as it is uh, you can say functioning so he's going to prevent of course that stim research very nice play by stefano he does put out the small little details as you do see he just uh, targeted that tech lab that was only doing the research he is retreating with those mutalisks we do uh, i mean with uh, those uh, yeah mutalisks and he is going now for the actual supply depots and uh, i don't believe this is going to be an issue these uh, three marines won't really do much they should pretty much drop but uh, backed up by those marines as well so finally he's going to be retreating and we have a couple of zerglings as well yeah we do have a couple of zerglings so he's going on for that early on our siege tank as well siege research online so we're going to have a couple of siege tanks here being placed down he's probably going to move forward for uh, that third base as well so a little bit behind in terms of units as Stefan already has that third base and look at that Crete that Crete expanding ridiculously cool quick 
for uh, Stefano. Look at that production line for those Terran players. It's always, always a huge, huge production line for those Terran players. Four Infestors again come on line, hopefully to counteract those Hellions if uh, Lucifer does decide to stick with those Hellions. But he's going to be moving in to tanks and a little bit of bio build as well. So finally he's moving down to that uh, third base as well. So very, very nice play by Lutzfron and Stefano. Both players really playing all out in uh, this game so far. Let's speed it up just a little bit again as uh, both players are sort of cooling down. We're going to have the Bailing Nest as well coming online. The Hive as well for Stefano. 2-2 two, two upgrades uh, for uh, Lutzfron's ground units. I mean, uh, Marine units, so that's very, very good for Stefano. Again, that stem research is being re researched again since you did drop it the first time. We do have, of course, that sensor tower as well, so that should provide a little bit of key insight into Stefano's harass or uh, movements. So, we do have, of course, uh, that uh, sensor tower placed for the third base as he does need to move the units down. So, very, very smart placement by Lutzfron in terms of that sensor tower. We do, of course, have uh, all the upgrades coming in for uh, those Marines and Marauders as well. So, he is going to be going for that Marine. Marine push medevac as well as a tank build. You know, it's tank, tank. Uh, you can say, tank uh, research coming online. We do have the level one armor plating and uh, sorry, level one weapons plating, armor plating. Not yet. We do have level two for the actual marine. So it's going to be probably a little heavier bio build by uh, Stefano. So really interesting to see what's going to be happening there. Of course, that uh, you can say early on. Scout did manage to drop and finally he is moving on. He is going to try to prevent that free spread but look at the amount of Zergling that should pretty much mop up. He did try to uh, cut to those losses by loading up those units into the medevac, medevac and moving down so he does know that this is literally you can say very dangerous for uh, Lucifron if that creed continues to spread like that he will pretty much come towards uh, Lucifron's base very very early on in the game. So again uh, the three, three, 3 upgrades coming down for uh, Lucifron while uh, Stefano, not really here, so just dealing with the other borrowing research is coming online. And we do have, of course, Cytoplasm and all the other upgrades for Stefano is coming online as well. And uh, Mutalists, uh, do we have them? Yeah, no, Ultralists are going to be in production. We do have three of those, so finally it's going to be turned up a notch. And uh, let's see if he has anything to counter this. Finally, Lucifer on the sides, he's going to be pushing out, of course, with a lot of Marines and uh, tanks as well. So I do believe he's going to be sieging up those tanks. And uh, let's see if it's going to be even worth it. It's going to be moving in directly with those tanks. Those upgrades, still no upgrades for those tanks. Though we do have finally that one weapons upgrade for those tanks. Those marines have the two two upgrades, three on the way. So very very effective build. And uh, Stefano knows that this is coming, so he is going to try to counteract this. Is he going to siege up here? Is he going to stop and siege up here? Yeah, he's going to stop and siege up here. The question is, will it be quick enough, or will he get those tanks taken out? That is the question. Will he be able to take out uh, these tanks in time? So. Unfortunately, the siege up was a little bit too late, a little bit of miss micro by Lutzfron. He did manage to lose quite a lot of tanks, but even though this uh, did turn towards his side, there was nothing he could do. Of course, a nice fungal place down to those uh, Terrans, and that was pretty much it. They were mopped up very, very quickly. So uh, let's see if Lutzfron can be able to contract this, of course, a massive uh, Zergling army that Stefano is finally getting into play. We do have the four bases, so Stefano is pretty much very, very comfortable with the four base build so this is going to be really a, you can say a late game finally here comes another push by both players and hopefully he'll be able to siege up and uh, get that siege tank line up and early on in the game as he needed to be of course he's trying to counteract all those tumors so the question is can he be able to do that again very nice micro by both players we do have scan coming down they did take out i do believe a barred unit here as well so Lutzfron uh, does know and is keeping an eye out for everything else uh, those upgrades are nearly going to be complete so if he does hold out just a little bit longer he will be able to spot out that push he needs to get that siege line up and early so finally that siege line is up and early so very nice uh, siege line so hopefully hopefully this is going to prove a very effective for uh, Lutzfron in terms of again very nice spread as he does know that those infestors are there so he is spreading out as much as he possibly can fungal placing down that should pretty much mop up the rest of those units and he's going to move down he's going to be really uh, you can say uh dragged into that siege line as he does want to drag into that siege line again a very nice spread unfortunately he decided to move the front of those siege tanks up and a very nice round of course by Stefano that should pretty much mop up all those units as you do see here uh, fungal placement down by those investors and that should pretty much be it all those tanks are going to drop and those investors uh, are pretty much going to mop up the rest of all those bio units so again very nice play by both players really it is teeth and nail here you can't really say that anybody's on a winning and again a very nice fungal placement by all these units but uh, with the amount of medevacs this should pretty much keep all these bio units alive will he be able to finally do some damage this is the question 
He really needs to do some damage, some economical damage. Any any amount of damage would be nice. If he can do some damage, or drop at least uh, those uh, units. Place down a scan. He really needs to place down a scan at least uh, drop those units. So this is the question. He loaded up, of course, all those units to prevent any losses. He should redrop them here. Place the scan down and uh, take care of that. Of course, very smart play from the opposite side. He is attacking. And of course, those Zerglings are going to be moving forward. He's going to probably load them up again and probably move them back down there again. So very nice play by both, you, by both the players. We do have finally Broodlings in play. And uh, this is really a late, late game for both players. We do have, of course, uh, another base expand for Stefano, as well as more investors in production. And uh, this is pretty much be it. In terms of bases, they are pretty much equal. We do have one, two, three, four. We do have four bases per each player. We do have a little bit of, of course, uh, the Overlord is throwing down a little bit of crit here to prevent that fifth base expansion uh, by uh, by Lucifer again. That scan's coming down. He's trying to prevent uh, that creep uh, from spreading again. He does need to push more in terms of getting that creep down. This creep is proving a very, very, you can say, effective for Stefano as it is giving him that advantage of scouting of course and he does see so we do have a couple of corruptors into play as well to counteract those medevacs so those medevacs are going to drop very very quickly as you see and that should pretty much be it for those medevacs but will a loot front counteract these uh, corruptors with his own air units time will tell maybe build a couple of vikings as well so let's see let's see exactly what the loot front decides to do we do have two nukes into play so this is going to be amazing we're going to have uh, nuke action coming in for those ghosts so really interesting to see how he's gonna let this play out so of course uh, Stefano doesn't have a clue that these nukes are gonna be sent out so hopefully those ghosts should be coming online so far the inner production says that those ghosts aren't still in production we do finally have that first ghost so the interesting thing is where will those nukes go and if they will be very effective as those nukes do take a lot of time and uh, finally we do have a little bit of harass drop here they're probably gonna be moving into the side here and do a little bit of harass for this base and push Stefano's units to the other side again small 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 you can say rogue units are being spread across the map itself and finally that push is coming all those scvs are going to drop he's sending them there on purpose he is sacrificing those scvs as he doesn't need them and he is got to be moving down towards uh, the mules only so of course this unlocks his uh, supply line another question is can can let's run a deal with this build by Stefano now again uh, this harass was in a way it was very effective even though he did lose the army units but he did prove to be pretty pretty effective he did do a couple of damage he did do a little bit of damage he did manage to mop up a couple of those probe units for him and we do have of course a lot of these scans coming down it is very key to know where these units are for Stefano so uh, so far we do have finally the bio units finally supported with those medevac units no siege line uh, anywhere so far he could put up a couple of siege tanks here but all that all the units are being moved in to office of course a deal with this a very very aggressive push by stefano so stefano of course very happy morphing in a couple of bailings and that should pretty much be it he is holding on the center of the map again another expansion coming down and uh, of course uh Lutzfron did throw down another expansion as well, so we do have that infested turn moving into, of course, that base to prevent that from happening. So this is going to be a little bit of annoying for uh, Lutzfron once he spots that he can't place down his command center just because of that uh, positioning. So let's see. Nuclear, nuclear strike detected. Let's see where that strike is happening. I can't really see where that ghost is so far, so... I'm not sure. Yeah, it is here, and he did spot it. Of course, every, everybody being pulled off the line, so this is really going to cause a little bit of, you could say, distaste, and another nuclear strike. So he is using these nukes just to take out the hatcheries. He's not using it for any other reason but to take out these hatcheries. So, of course, he will try to take out, of course, this extractor as well, if it is possible. So let's see if the extractor drops as well. Yes, it does. Very smart placement. So Lutzfron knows that he's not going to be doing anything else in terms of dealing with the actual nuke. So... Another hatchery being placed down immediately again. I cut, we do have a couple of spine callers again. And we do have another nuclear strike being thrown down. I do believe it might be for uh, the bottom right of the base. Where is that nuke strike going to be going down? This is the question. Here it is. That, uh, unfortunately, that ghost did die. So, where are those nuclear strikes being placed down? We do have that scan. So, he doesn't know that it's there, though. Stefano is going to lose these units. He's going to lose. No, he just finally managed to pull them off just on the last second. Of course, uh, all the larvae did die, and he did manage to do a little bit of damage. He needs two. So this uh, new Karas uh, by Lutzfron is making Stefano a little bit worried. He is, of course, retreating back to space as he does need those overseers to scout out those uh, ghosts. So very, very nice play by Lutzfron. This is making Stefano, you can say, 
be more, you know, move inwards instead of moving outwards. So very, very nice play by Lutzfrana. This sort of pushes, stops that push from, you can say, Stefano. So finally, we do have those Vikings in play. We do have, of course, those siege units in play as well and a couple of medevacs units. Both players are pretty much maxed out in terms of... Uh, terms of uh, you can see supply and we do have another nuke being thrown down so let's take a look at where that nuke is going to be finally a very nice placement by that nuke so very very effective uh, by loots from uh, this new caras is proving to be pretty pretty effective actually it's uh, very interesting to see that that is uh, continuing to prove very effective so will this marauder survive it actually it might though it'll be very interesting to see how it does survive and he's going to be mopped up of course by these organs and that's pretty much it we do have another expansion moving forward and he's not even going to be bothered to deal with uh, the actual destructible debris. He's just going to be doing long distance mining there and uh, planetary fortress here. So far, so far, we do, of course, have those upgrades pretty much done, I do believe, for Lutz from. Let's take a look. Yeah, we do have three, three upgrades. And we do have just three, three upgrades for those uh, vehicles. I don't know why he doesn't do at least some armor upgrades for those tanks. So they do take, take on a little bit of damage. Very nice surround by those Zerglings. And that should pretty much mop up the rest. So. So far, nothing really happening. He is, of course, checking out, of course, if he did expand further on. Nothing really there. Finally, the creep tumor did sort of stop in terms of expansion. So you can say that uh, Lutzfran is pretty much happy that the creep tumor did stop expanding. So uh, let's see how this continues to play out. More infestors come online. Three more ultralists just finished production. Six more Vikings and a lot of new harass. So another nuke is being dropped down and he did take out uh, that ghost he does need to place the ghost here we do have of course the overseer patrolling here to prevent any of those uh, ghosts coming down so if he does send a couple of vikings just to take out you know a snipe a snipe team of those vikings to take out that actual unit it would be very good we do have another nuke as well so this is making him a very very worried and a very nice placement of the nuke so let's see if this is going to happen is he going to cancel this nuke this is the question is he going to cancel this nuke or not no, no, that nuke really did go into... This is like a nuke fest uh, by Lutzfron. He is really going... Nu he's nuking everything that he can possibly find. This is really a good uh, moral effect that Ghost unfortunately did drop just, just before uh, the nuke hit. So, unfortunately for Stefano, he didn't manage to take that out again. A lot of damage happening by these nukes. But again, these nukes are very, very costly. So the question is, is it really worthwhile all uh, these uh, nukes, placing down all those nukes? So again, we do have a couple of infested Terrans. Pushing forward, of course, uh, this uh, production line is going to move forward. A couple of these bio units moving in. This should pretty much mop up the rest. Unfortunately, the Orbital Command does uh, drop. He does need to keep that economy up and running for Lutzfron. Uh, those nukes are very expensive and costly. Finally, we're going to have those armor platings for those tanks moving into play. So, very nice play by both those units. And the question is, who is going to take the final battle? Another nuke is being launched, and we do have double nukes launched finally so unfortunately those ghosts none of them are going to manage to survive that that overseer did come into play so that nuke would have been very very effective in terms of taking care of that i don't i do believe that those nukes did actually launch so he did lose those resources very nice play he's gonna hopefully mop up those uh zerglings before they can actually morph into billings and another morphine trying to happen here but ooh, this one will be probably effective he needs to switch up very nice fungal placement by Stefano and another scan coming down. He needs to siege up those tanks. Another scan coming down. Finally, very nice siege tank line being pushed into play. And uh, another new the forward mute being pushed into play. So this should very nice nuke by Roots Front. This might actually prove a little bit efficient. Okay, it might just take out the big tumors, but that's pretty much it. Corruptors are going to move forward. Uh, the bio boss should pretty much mop up those Brulings and those Vikings. Should hopefully take care of those corruptors. But it seems that, of course, uh, Roots Front was overpowered by Stefano's composition, and that should pretty much be it. Uh, medevac drop is trying to move in to try to do as much damage as possible and he is still trying to move in and he is taking out of course uh, those uh, spine claws but that should pretty much be it he tried to do move into the actual resource line but there was just too much defenses uh, by stefano so nothing really much he could do though we do have of course uh, this expansion is pretty much at the end of it so uh, no, not, not really very effective by stefano but of course any type of brass is good this planetary should pretty much take out those uh, infested terrans and finally a push by Stefano oh we do have broodlings and corruptors so and of course an overseer so hopefully these bio units are going to push back this uh, push itself so let's see if it's going to be effective in terms of the push very nice final placement by that infester and these bio units are going to drop so the question is can a Lutzfron build up because we do have 74 uh, supply to 189 so really Lutzfron is behind a lot I don't know why he isn't producing though, it seems that Lutzfron is completely out of resources, there's nothing much he can do, and this does look up for, of course, for Stefano as he did, didn't manage to get his, uh, 
you can say economy up and running and that should pretty much be it for Lutzfront. Lutzfront's uh, you can say Achilles heel was his economy and Lucifer of course calls it a GG and that's pretty much it for uh, the second game between both players it was a very nice game very nice late game for both players unfortunately Lucifer on Achilles heel here he didn't manage to keep and sustain his economy as uh, Stefano did of course so we do have pretty much all the bases are mined out and he did only have one base that was mining and he didn't expand in accordance to keep his resources incoming for uh, those crystals so that's pretty much it for game two as always happy gaming and see you again in a continuation of this tournament. Bye.